What's good, YouTube? It's your main man, Code Room, and I'm back with another video. And today, I'll be using the Omni Light 3D node in Godot. So make sure you all like and subscribe. I hope you all had a great weekend. Make sure you have a great rest of your day. And now, let's get right into the video. So the way the Omni Light works is that it shines in every direction for a certain range. You can adjust this range using the range feature. And then there's also the attenuation variable. This allows you to pick a point where the light stops shining, or at least isn't as bright. This point is called the drop-off curve. Now, something cool you may not know about the attenuation feature is that if you right click on it there are some preset options that you can use there are six of them and these six options are zero linear in out in and out out and in and you can try these on your projects i didn't know about this when i used it during my 3d camp video which you definitely should go check out by the way then after that you have all your typical light 3d stuff so there you have it the omni light 3d node in godot 4 let me know which node you want me to talk about next time for now i'm out of here